Lady Scrap, Fruit Town Brims, 35th Street. And you watching me on streetgangs.com. I'm American Indian, Choctaw and Seminole. My mother's side was Choctaw, father's side is Seminole. We're in the projects. We on the five. And what does the five mean to you? That's the block. I'm married to the block. 35th Street, I love this street. Fruit Town Brims. Mm -hmm. Apples, peaches, plums, watermelons, cherries, fuck the thumbs. That's how the slogan goes. I chose cherries because I like them and they fit on my shoulders. Apples, peaches, the watermelons, they wouldn't have fit, it wouldn't have looked right. That's why it's not just called Fruit Gang. It's Fruit Town Brim Gang. The produce van, the apple trees, the cherry trees, eating mango slices from the little Mexican vendors walking up the street with the chili on them. All of that means something to us, being over here, because that's what we grew up with in the summertime. That's what helped cool us down. I learned a lot about men. <laughs> Hanging around men, you learn around about men. Niggas, whatever you want to call them, boys. You always demand their respect, always. No matter what, how old you get, who you are, what you do, you always demand respect. There's always a man that'll look at you in the relationship-wise. That's not a family relationship. That's gonna try and test you like, really, you're a woman, I'm a man. You over here for something else. You ain't over here because of why I'm over here. Your love for this ain't the same love as me, and you gotta prove that to them, show them. Like, yes it is, I believe the same thing you believe. I'm with it fully, just like you. I'm just a girl. The female is the child bearer. So our strength is enormous. We are strong as heck. And we endure a lot. We always go through the pain and hardships. The males, they stigma is really they can't even cry in public. The females can cry whenever. Like, it's always hard. It's tough for a female not to cry or to not show the emotions, especially being a gang member. It's like I was saying, if the female can cry whenever, why shouldn't the male be able to? Why is it looked at like that? So, I, yeah. Why do you think it's looked at that way? Because that's the way the traditions is going. That's the way the stigmas is put out. It's that, you know, the woman stays at home type of stereotype. You shouldn't be right here, out here with me, right here. You know, it's like that. And when you're confronted with this type of discrimination and challenges, what do you do about it? It depends on who it's coming from. Really, it depends on who it's coming from. If I care enough about you to listen to what you say, then I'm gonna take heed to it and still do what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna take heed to it to where you would notice like, oh, okay, maybe she's not out as much or she ain't getting locked up as much or she didn't got off of parole, you know, in that sense, or something to where I'm looking at you like, really, you can't point the finger at me because there's so many pointing back at you. Watch the words you choose, you know? <laughs> and have you dated a lot of people from Fruit Town? No. And why not? Because these are my brothers. I'm not around them to date them, to like them in that way, in a relationship that way. We got another kind of relationship. Them, nah. <laughs> nah. And they crazy, I'm crazy, uh-uh. That ain't gonna work. It'll be kind of dysfunctional. What was your relationship like with your father? It's beautiful, still to this day. And he's incarcerated. And how long has he been incarcerated? Oh, 15 years. So since you was a little girl, he's been in prison? Mm-hmm, minor years, junior high. And what's that been like? It's been, I don't know, like typical, because I'm used to it. So that's the word I choose. I don't feel no right or wrong way about it. That's just a part of how my father is. It's not like he loves me less, I love him less. Was he involved in the streets out here in any particular neighborhood? Yes, he was. He's from Borla. <laughs> <laughs> Say that with a straight face, yes. He's from where these thumbs is whacked out at. Yes, he is, my father. Mm -hmm. That's pretty unusual, isn't it? No. No? He's basically from the enemy the rival neighborhood, gang. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it would have been more typical to me for me to be from there. I guess you you just gonna be from where you grow up at, right? Right. 
went to school around here. Yeah. That's who I went to school with, you know? And what do you think drew you into the game? The love. It was another, my friends. It was, that's who I was around. That's who I had fun with. That's, I hung with them. It wasn't like no, oh, you have to be from here. I didn't got beat up by five, six, seven, eight girls to be from here. No, it wasn't like that. Mm -mm. I got incarcerated for about three months the first time. And I got into some fights that got me some more time than I was supposed to do. You learn a lot about the female gender, being locked up around nothing but females. But that's where scrap comes from. Not only do I like Scrappy do the character, but yeah, I ain't putting down nothing but my thumbs. Like, we can get it up, put them up, put them up, put them up, straight up. But once they get to know me and they feel like, okay, she's not a punk, all right, we can hang with her. We just know we got to watch what we say to her because she's a little feisty. She snaps, you know. Other than Linwood, where else had you had to go? Chow Chilla, CIW, VSP. Okay. I was just in Twin Towers because I did the little AB 109. It wasn't a violent case. So I was housed down there for two and a half years. I've been out 15 months. I, per se, wasn't tested or nothing like that to see if I was going to be gay for the stay or straight at the gate, as they say. I wasn't tested for that. But looking at some people that was tried, it's like, you got to watch what you say. If you act like you like girls or you act like you're interested, it's some in there that's gonna test you or they're gonna make you call your bluff, rather. That's gonna call your bluff. So I ain't gonna say that they just raping people. No, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. Because a lot of the women be surprisingly willing or just be needing love, lack of guidance or something, you know. But like if a woman hooks up with a woman in, in prison, it doesn't seem like there's that negative stigma if you hear a man hooked up with another man in prison. Right. Right, but that's another stereotype. You know, even on the streets, a man would rather see a f lesbians than some gay dudes. They would just, you know, why, I don't know, but it's like the same stereotype. Everyone wants to see the girl on girl action, so yeah, they will definitely, the homeboys will definitely mess with a stud homegirl in a friendship way, like, oh, okay, I can call her and go out to the bar with her, opposed to calling me, because it's like, I may try and hit on you after I done drunk a few beers. So really, I don't need to be around you. Let me be around this one that got this fade like me. You know, that, you know that's looking at the same thing I'm looking at. We got more in common, per se. So yeah, so, it's accepted way more. So th are, are there female gang members who are out? Absolutely. Very open. I'm trying to rap and model. Real nigga shit mixtape is out. I'm on number 18, you know, YDM. Shout out the whole YDM camp. I like high fashion. Surprisingly, I can rock good in heels, surprisingly. I've done a few shows at the Hollywood Park Casino when it was named that, you know, before a few incarcerations. But previous incarcerations has had me put that on hold for a minute, you know? But I'm able to say that I'm finna get back into it. I'm really striving for the modeling career. You know, real recognize, real regardless. I seen him Christmas Day in the South when I took a picture, Instagrammed it, Twitter, Facebook. Some of our homies had something to say behind our backs. But we but don't they give never a could fuck. ever say that to our face. So it is what it is. It's easy to break the cycle, you know what I mean? Because it's all about what you want. If you want to be out here hanging and singing dope, then that's what you're going to go for.